Prince Charles reportedly accepted large sums of charity money from a controversial Qatari politician who handed him bags stuffed with cash. The Prince of Wales reportedly took bags stuffed with 500 euros banknotes from the former Prime Minister of Qatar which he then passed on to his charity. Sheikh Hamad bin Jassim bin Jaber Al Thani is said to have given Charles euros 3 million in three separate payments between 2011 and 2015, with euros 1 million around 861,000 pounds stuffed into carrier bags from posh grocer Fortnum and Mason. At another one-to-one -one meeting at Clarence House in 2015, Charles accepted a holdall containing another euros 1 million said to have been made up of 500 euros notes. There is no suggestion the payments were illegal. However, the Prince of Wales has always maintained that he never personally had any involvement in the details of fundraising for his charities. Clarence House said donations from the Sheik were passed immediately to one of the Prince's charities and all the correct processes were followed. The controversial Sheik previously admitted that under his government Qatar maybe financed the Syrian branch of al-Qaeda without his knowledge. But the new revelation could put the future king's succession to the throne in jeopardy, royal commentator Tom Bauer claimed. Mr. Bauer, who is working on a biography of Meghan Markle, said the revelation has exposed Charles's poor judgment. Writing for the Mail, he said, what's much more damaging is that his conduct raises wider concerns. It is no exaggeration to say that his succession to the throne could be in jeopardy. There is no doubt the future success of the monarchy rests on its probity. Any suspicion of cash for favors involving Prince Charles and his charities raises such issues. Royals are banned from accepting gifts of money in connection with an official engagement or duty under the royal gift policy. They can accept a check as patron of or on behalf of a charity. The royal biographer also said the Queen's eldest son over the past 30 years has repeatedly been caught up in accusations that he has taken cash for access and used his influence to promote donators of his favorite causes. He noted that the prince's closet aide Michael Fawcett previously offered a Saudi billionaire a knighthood and support for British citizenship in exchange for pounds 15 million to the prince's foundation. Mr. Fawcett later stepped down temporarily as chief executive for the prince's charity when he was made aware that the allegations of the CBE would be published. Mr. Bauer commented on the revelations, saying, at best, Charles failed to keep a check on what was being done in his name. At worst, he was complicit. The cash, he said, has not been used to spend on Charles himself, but rather used by his charities. Mr. Bauer said his mistake was not fundraising with complete transparency. He said, Charles was repeatedly warned by his father, Prince Philip, that he had allowed himself to be surrounded by unsuitable and controversial politicians and businessmen. Mr. Bauer said, over recent years, the Queen's advisers have skillfully and wisely navigated the monarchy through periods of potential crisis. It's hard not to think that Charles as head of his court has failed to keep control and it is an extremely bad look for the future king. Express.co.uk has contacted Clarence House for further response.